Welcome to Electron Line. In this set of examples, we have included some brackets and parentheses, so we're going to learn how to deal with those. In addition, I want to, you to pay attention to some examples here, where here we wrote four times what's inside the brackets, and here we wrote three times what's inside the brackets, but we don't have to put that symbol there. If we don't put anything in between the number and the bracket, we automatically mean that's multiplied. So we say five times what's in the bracket, just like here, we don't have to write that symbol. Also notice in here, here I have three times four in the parentheses, and here I have five with nothing in between times two in the parentheses. Again, when you don't see anything there, we automatically mean that it's multiplication. If it has to be addition or subtraction, we must put that in there. For example, eight plus, we have to put the plus there, and do I have a minus here? No, not before the parentheses, but again, if we mean plus or minus, you must put the plus or minus in there. When we mean multiplication, you can put it in there, but you don't have to. So that's the difference. Well, let's try to figure out how to solve these problems. And again, if there are parentheses, you want to work from the inside out. Let's go here. We see parentheses there on the inside the brackets. We want to get rid of this first. So we're going to do the multiplication three times four first, get rid of the parentheses. And so therefore we have four times two plus three times four, that is 12. We still have brackets, and again, we want to get rid of what's inside the brackets first. We want to get rid of the parentheses, we want to get rid of the brackets. So we work out what's inside the brackets first. So we can write four times two plus 12 is 14. And finally, we can now do the multiplication. 4 times 14 means 4 times 10, which is 40. 4 times 4 is 16. 40 plus 16 is 56. And that's the correct answer. Our next example is very similar. First, we want to get rid of the parentheses inside. 5 times 2 is 10. This can now be written as 3 times the bracket. 10 minus 3. Now we want to work out what's inside the brackets first. 10 minus 3 is 7. This can now be written 3 times 7. And finally, 3 times 7 is 21. That's how you do that one. Let's go to the next one. Again, let's work out what's inside the inside parentheses first. Remember, we go from the inside out. This can now be written as 5 times the bracket. 8 plus 2 plus 3 is 5. Now we add these together. 5 times 8 plus 5 is 13. And now this means 5 times 13. 5 times 13 is 65, because 5 times 10 is 50, 5 times 3 is 15, 50 plus 15 is indeed 65. Here again, we work out what's inside the parentheses first. So we write 9 times 14 plus 5, that would be 19 minus 10. Now we work out what's here. This could now be written as 9 times, 19 minus 10 is 9, and finally 9 times 9 is 81. Our next one, same thing again. We first want to work out what's inside the parentheses. This gives us 2 times 2 plus 3 times 2 plus 5 is 7. Notice how I did not get rid of the parentheses because I was multiplying this times the 3, so I must have that parentheses there, or I must put a multiplication symbol, either one. Now I can get rid of this by multiplying 3 times 7, which is 21. 2 times 2 plus 3 times 7 is 21. Now I can add these two up together. Again, I want to work from inside the parentheses outward. 2 times 23. And 2 times 23 is 46. And our last one here, again, we want to work out what's inside the inside parentheses first. 3 times 4 plus 3 times 4 plus 1 is 5. Notice how I kept the parentheses there because I'm multiplying this times 3, I'm not adding times 3. If I was adding, I could take the parentheses off. Now I want to do the multiplication to get rid of these parentheses. 3 times 4 plus 3 times 5 is 15. Now work out what's inside here. 3 times 4 plus 5 is 19. And finally, 3 times 19 is 57. How did I do that so quickly? Well, I said 3 times 20 is 60. And 19 is 1 less than 20. 3 times 1 is 3. 60 minus 3 is 57. And that's the final answer there. And that's how we deal with the rules of operations. When you have parentheses, you want to work the inside parentheses out first. 
and work your way to the outside parentheses. That's how we do that.